Shalom Divine. How are you guys doing today? I hope your spirits find you well. Thank you for joining me on this transformational journey. My name is KB. And um, for those that are new, I thank you and I, I, I welcome you. If there are any new people joining me, this is a spiritual healing channel journey that I am on using um, the seven dimensions of wellness to uh, connect, get connected with that soul, mind, and body, to connect the soul, mind, and body. And um, it's a spiritual channel. So welcome. So I had something that I wanted to talk about, right? And um, I couldn't because my mind is elsewhere. So huh, if you have been on this earth for a minute, you know the devastation that has taken place, right? You see destruction. You see chaos. You see contrast. And um, a lot of people want to ignore it. But it's been in my life for a minute now. And I've been faced with it for uh, six years now. And it's caused a lot of destruction, right? And um, those that have not gone through anything like that, this uh, video you may want to skip. But we're going to talk about demons. We're going to talk about those lower entities, those lower beings. They're here to cause everything that I just mentioned, right? And they're in a lot of people's lives more prevalent than they are in others. And I just happen to be one of those people. <laughs> Lucky me, right? <sighs> But um, I originally started this channel because they were so active in my life. And um, every now and then they pop up. But these, these are a lot, of, a lot of people don't understand that these are beings that if you're into the church, then you know. If you're into religion, then you know. Some people call them demons, demons. Some people call them jinns. Um, ghost or and some are in the form of humans soulless people they have a job and a purpose and if you have a mission or a goal they're here to destroy that and I just want to encourage individuals that are on missions of trying to better their lives or trying to accomplish their mission you know, you see your mission, your goal, and you're trying to accomplish it, and you're working diligently too. They're here to knock you off your block, knock you off your square. By any means necessary. Cheat, steal, kill. They're here to destroy. There's a mundane part, and then there's a spiritual part. We'll talk about the mundane part because I think that everybody can relate to that. So because of what I just mentioned, that's part of like the mundane part, like um, because everybody can relate to devastation. Everybody can relate to beings that are not here for their highest good or their their existence and they are faced with contrast and destruction. And one thing that we have to do is try to learn how to combat it. One thing we have to do is when we're on our mission and we see the goal or the mission at the end of the tunnel, we see that we're about to achieve it. You know, we're taking the proper steps to to get to it. And then all of a sudden something devastating comes into our lives. A loved one dies or someone gets, you know, hurt that you love or, you know, Whatever it is that you're trying to attain, it gets taken away from you abruptly. Whatever, you know, whatever your goals or mission is, they'll figure out a way to snatch it from you. They'll figure out a way to F it up. They'll figure out a way to knock you off of your square. And I've been there so many times to now where I am at a point where I can combat it by thinking emotionally different right they are they love you to be emotional they want you to cry 
they want you in fact there's people you know on on this YouTube channel you know that enjoys when individuals are sad and devastated this is why I have to be mindful of what I say and do because I'm an open book and I like being an open book there's things that happened to me in Mexico that I'd like to share here but now I see that there's a few empty nesters ugh, empty souls empty bodies that that don't have souls that are anxious and waiting for the tears the sadness and that's not that's not all of you that's just you know just maybe 10% and i i i love the ones that are here to just watch me go through this journey or to support whatever that may look like I know that's not you eventually I'll be able to open up and say everything that I want to say because eventually they'll leave once they see that you're not bothered because I'm not but to give them that energy is what I will not do and I encourage you not to do it either but there's things out there that you're trying to accomplish and you best believe the closer you get to doing it destruction is going to come and some people deal with it more so than others but either way we're all dealing with it either way we are all going through being knocked down at a time when we finally trying to you know grab that carrot done deliberately because they feeding off of your energy so I've gone through it so many times now that um, I'm just here to encourage the ones that are probably in it to reprogram yourself I'm an emotional eater so receiving devastating news I go straight to the kitchen and I just feed my face that's what I do on a regular I stop whatever I'm doing stop the program and I go and and it used to be alcohol or if it's drugs for you or if it's sex for you it's you know there is something that makes you feel good when you are sad and it could be any of those things but I encourage you not to do it I encourage you to take your mind off of it for a minute go take a nap hot bath hot shower do something totally different go to sleep process it the next day process it when you get up and you'll find that or like me I, I chose not to think about it. I chose to go ahead and go through my detoxing process because typically I would feed my face and then go straight to bed and I'd be like F this detox I'm not on it even if I was recording I'd be like F it I am very sad I'm very hurt I'm you know so sit with it reprocess it in your head another way don't run on autopilot running on autopilot is destruction you go and do things that you know you're not supposed to do and this is what they're feeding off of then you regret it the next day and you become severely depressed don't do that process it in another way emotions are very important and they're here to destroy divide conquer and destroy that's what they're here to do And these beings come in all shapes, sizes, and forms. Just make sure you stay guarded. Do the opposite that you always do before. Just do the opposite. Don't run on autopilot. Okay? So I just wanted to say that I had some news come to me today. And it was so devastating. I wanted to do exactly what I told you I was going to do. But I did not. Because I've been here before. And over and over again, these things happen to try and destroy your life. And I won't let it. I won't let it. I'll process this in another way, and I'm going to do what needs to be done for what has taken place. I'm going to do what I need, what needs to be done, but it's not going to stop my mission. I went through what I went through. I'm not hungry, but I went through um, – my process of detoxifying and I didn't quit and I'm happy about that and I don't want you guys to quit either I hope you're able to understand what I'm trying to convey a little emotional right now but um, that energy I won't I won't bring it here 
I won't bring it here. Eventually I will when, when they start to see that they don't affect me. Um, I love you guys and I really appreciate you guys watching. I only did a little bit of sauna and a little bit of the trampoline. And that's about it that I recorded. And that's what you'll get to see now. All right. So stay strong. Stay focused. Don't let devastation knock you out of the box. Deal with your emotions a little bit differently, okay? All right. I love you. Thank you.